Men and women in Leeds, Jesus didn't come to condemn you. Jesus came to save you. Let me tell you who I am. My name is David and I'm a Christian preacher. I knew that I wasn't being treated the way I should be treated in that situation. This is where I was set up. This is where the crowd began to gather. Does God accept the LGBT community? This gentleman asked the question, does God accept the LGBT community? Yes, this is the first for me, uh, being arrested for so-called misgendering someone. You're aware she's a woman? No, I'm fully aware that this is a man. It's absolutely worrying. You know, just because somebody feels like a woman or, or they believe they're a woman, if we simply say, no, I don't agree with you, I believe that you are a man, you can be arrested for that and, and prosecuted for that. Does anybody else have a question? Do you have a question, young lady? My name is David and um, I'm a street preacher and very recently I've been arrested uh, by the police, charged and prosecuted for misgendering a person. You are a female. You are a woman. Okay. Do not be confused. In the beginning, God made them male and female. Well, ever since my uh, conversion, uh, to Christ, which was back in 2006. The Lord has really put on my heart to take the Christian message out into um, our towns, our cities, our villages, and, uh, and preach and, and be a witness. On this particular day, I headed into Leeds City Centre and um, just began to preach, preaching on the Ten Commandments and other passages of Scripture. And people are stopping and engaging with me. And this went on for around uh, 40 minutes or so. This is where I was set up. This is where the crowd all began to gather. And um, yeah, over here was the very place where I was eventually arrested and um, put in the van and, and taken off this street to the station. I was preaching and um, I noticed two uh, people turn up and um, I noticed, um, you know, one of, one of these individuals uh, to me was, was a man who was uh, dressed up uh, in woman's clothes and the other um, just seemed like a friend of uh, this, uh, this, this person. So men and women, you see the Bible says, has to be in the microphone. I've got to hold it. Does God accept the LGBT community? Just a general question. No, God hates sin. When people ask questions, as they do, I refer to people as a lady or a gentleman. If a man comes up and asks a question, and for one reason I don't manage to get his name, I'll say this gentleman's asked a question. Same with a lady. In this situation, when the question was asked, um, he turned his back on me and, and walked away. So I was there to preach and, and engage with everybody and I referred uh, to this individual as a gentleman. I says, this gentleman has asked this question and I was seeking to um, repeat the question and then seek to deal with that question. This gentleman asked a question. transphobia going on in, this, in the heart of the LGBT Excuse me, men and women of Leeds. Everyone. This gentleman asked me a question. He asked a question. He said, does God accept? I am a woman, darling. The friend said, this is a woman. And I responded by saying, no, this is a man. You know, the evidence of my own eyes tell me that, that this person was actually a male, a man who was dressed as a woman and uh, behaving uh, as a woman. You're aware she's a woman? You're aware she's a woman? Can you say it? No, I'm fully aware that this is a man. So that goes back and forth 
And then others began to say, she is just as much as a woman as I am, they were saying. And, f and, and for me, as a Christian, uh, my belief is that God made two sexes, male and female. That's my religious belief, that's my scientific belief, that's my philosophical belief. I've always believed that, in fact. What I'm doing today is legal. I have free speech, freedom of expression. This is love speech. Time to get right with God, men and women. The whole time that the police were there, they were clearly hearing what I was preaching. You know, there's no abusive language from me, obviously. There's no hate in my tone of voice. Just preaching biblical truth in love. But there are people within this crowd who are stirring up trouble. So the disorder was coming from them and it seemed to me that the police were just focused on me as if I was some bad person there that, you know, you know, saying loads of hateful things when that wasn't the truth of the situation at all. You're using actions and behaviour to cause other people alarm and distress. We've got people coming up making up. I'm not talking to you, so come out of the way. All I had done was speak the truth. And for me, I think, how could it ever be a crime to speak the truth? Because I've been criminalised, I've been charged with uh, a crime for simply expressing the truth that this person in front of me was, in fact, a man and not a woman. She asked, he asked me, OK? He asked me, he asked me, um, what did I think? As I was giving my details, I was also explaining to the officer the situation, you know, what had, what had happened. Immediately, he just changed. It's as if he was getting offended. And he said to me, he said, he said quite sharply, she's already told you she's a woman. And I thought, wow, this is really strange. And... Within, I'm thinking, this officer seems to have embraced the gender, identity, ideology himself. And I, I was starting to feel a bit confused at that point. And, um, and I was just explaining what had happened. And then he said, that's it. And just put the handcuffs on me and arrested me. And then uh, took me to the van. So here we are outside of uh, Ellen Road Police Station in Leeds. And this is where the police brought me after arrest. And, uh, I was in the custody suite here for 14 hours. And as we've turned up, you can see the uh, LGBT flag. So one must ask, how can you be treated fairly when they already show their political bias to the LGBT community? Yeah, it's completely unreasonable that I would be arrested, charged, and even prosecuted, you know, for speaking the truth, you know, that this man is a man, uh, while at the same time you have people in the crowd who are threatening, throwing things at me, uh, swearing at me, even stealing my amplifier in front of the police, and the police have done nothing about it. And... Um, you know, here I am now uh, doing community service and, 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 and paying back uh, a large fine for simply preaching and, and speaking the truth and being faithful to, uh, to, to, to God and to what I believe. Yeah, I'm definitely glad that the Christian Legal Centre has been there to help me and and, and support me in this and to fight this case. So yeah, we're living in incredibly worrying times, you know, that you can be uh, arrested, charged, prosecuted, simply for saying that a man is a man, just because that man chooses to identify as a woman. 
you know, it's like arresting someone, charging somebody for saying uh, two plus two equals four. You know, just because they believe that two plus two equals five or six or 10, you know, just because that offends them, that the police are gonna come and arrest you and charge you and prosecute you for that. It's totally insane, it's crazy.